Hello again, welcome to Unchained Skid with some lessons learned. Now, if anybody watched my video on 5,000 kilometers in a uh, coffee break, you remember that somewhere along the south shore of Quebec there, I had a uh, problem with the transmission. So, what was the light that we got? Well, let's take a look. I'll start up the van and I'll show you what it was here. Let's just switch that. So, you see, if we're looking at this little light right here, that little wrench thing, that comes on or that came on for me and when it does if you look that up in the manual and I'll put the little manual page on here that means problem with the transmission <clears throat> and you're like oh that's not good so it means it says in the manual you should go see uh, a, a mechanic to get it looked at which means they're probably gonna be looking at the codes but what you can do is shut the engine off and see if it goes away and then if it comes back well okay how did all this come about well let's talk about something called the PRS mode so if we look at let's just start up the van here all right, so you can see there that we're in park right now. That's drive, and that's manual. Now a manual with a little switch here on the on the uh, on the gear shift column, I can change what gear that I'm in in manual. But if you do that when you're in drive instead of manual, if you start messing with these buttons, you're going to throw it into something called a PRS mode, and you're looking at that going well. PRS mode, I'm just gonna shut off the van here. PRS mode, what the hell does that mean? I dare you, look it up in the manual. In my 2019 Ford Transit manual, it doesn't mention PRS anywhere. Look it up online and you'll find the following. I'll put a little page in here and then show you what it uh, says online. Basically, a PRS mode means that when you're in drive, if you downshift on the little column here, you restrict the highest gear that the van can go into. Now, I think as I was going across the, the Jacques Cartier Bridge there, crossing over, or not Jacques Cartier Bridge, can't remember. Anyway, as I was crossing over that bridge uh, to the South Shore, you know, I was driving stuff and I accidentally was in drive instead of in manual and I started doing that. And I couldn't figure out what was going on because I was busy driving, doing my stuff, and I think I screwed it up. And the net result of that is by the time I got to the other side, boom, that transmission light came on. Was there anything actually uh, wrong with the transmission? No, but the microprocessor had screwed up so much that it didn't know what to do anymore. Okay, so I was very confused and I'm like, ah, damn, I'm in a bad place here. You know, I got to keep driving. So I kept going because it was working, sort of. There was weird stuff. It had gone into some kind of degraded mode with the transmission. And so what happened was that, uh, for example, it would shift in weird ways and uh, it would also... Uh, which is to say it would take it a while to upshift and then as I would slow down it would downshift way aggressively so it would put it in a lower gear as I'm pushing on the brake to try and compress the engine to slow me down and basically it was working in a very weird way okay I finally got to a gas station and I stopped for a bit and turned the engine off now weirdly enough that no one is at that gas station I had to leave so the engine was only off for maybe two minutes and when I turned the engine back on <laughs> excuse me uh, the uh, the uh, transmission light was still on. So I'm like, damn, I just turned the engine off, it was still on. Okay, carried on, got to the next gas station, was finally getting some gas. Now the engine was off for a good 10 minutes. I turn it on again, light's gone. So note to self, if you're gonna see if that light will reset, give it a few minutes because it takes a while for whatever capacitor there is still charged to discharge and so to see if the code is gonna reset. So it did, the transmission light was off, I drove and now it was driving normally. My like, okay. I kept going for the whole rest of my trip and was like almost all the way back home. And then it started doing that down, uh, that uh, decelerating thing again, uh, partly on the way home. Again, I didn't see the light that time. I turned the engine off for a couple minutes. Then the behavior went away. Bottom line, nothing wrong with the transmission in this van, but that microprocessor is a real pain in the ass. So be careful. It says in the manual that it does some kind of adaptive thing where it's trying to, to figure out how you ship. I don't like it. Um, but my advice to you is, first of all, be aware of what that PRS mode Sitting is. Here. And if you are in drive, don't mess with the up and down buttons because you will put it in that PRS mode. 
Uh, if you want to go into a lower gear to tow a trailer or something like I do, just use the manual. Don't, uh, don't use it in drive because it can really screw with the microprocessor. Second thing, if you want to reset, like I say, the, uh, the transmission light, make sure you turn off the engine for a good long time and then, uh, it'll let it go. And again, way to go forward. You don't even explain what your transmission is doing in your manual. Mm. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll throw some stuff in here and edit that. Uh, questions, comments in the, uh, in the, in the low bar there. If you have any advice for the guys out there, please, uh, let me know. Put it in the comments and let's spread the news on uh, how to actually make this happen. All right, guys. Thanks for paying attention. Have a good one. Bye.